Hey guys, other boy reactions here. All right, so we're getting back into Doctor Who. Last time um, was that fabulous two-parter um, with the creepy little child. And we got a new cast member, Jack Harkness. Yay, I'm so excited. I can't wait to learn more about him. Um, and yeah, I wanna see um, what the dynamic is between uh, he, Rose, and uh, the Doctor. So we'll have to see if they all get along. Okay, let's get into it. This is Doctor Who, season one, episode 11, Boomtown. World's nuclear power station and major population center aren't exactly the happiest of bedfellows. But I give you my personal guarantee that as long as I walk upon this earth, no harm will come to any of my citizens. Now, to your citizens. A toast. Before he died, Mr. Cleaver posted some of his findings online. Did he then? If you know where to look. He was concerned about the reactor. <laughs> All that technical stuff. And specifically, that the design of the suppression pool would cause the hydrogen recombiners to fail, precipitating in the collapse of the containment isolation system and resulting in a meltdown. Who's been doing our homework? That's my job. I think. Kathy Salt. I think you and I should have a word in private. No. Oh. Information public. I have to. Then so you're gonna die. Be it. And your my boyfriend thinks I'm mad. I'm getting married next month. And he says if I cause a fuss, I could lose my job. You're with a child. She cares. She has Three a heart. Months. It's not showing yet. If you don't mind, I might be a while. You run along. Perhaps we could do this another day. Are you all right? Wow. Fine. The white things are tuss, and I mean that's tuss. Oh my god. And it's broken, and it's not happy. How could We're you know This is there. the group I want. Naked. This is the group. Naked. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> and I was having such a nice day. Okay, plan of attack. We assume a basic 5756 strategy covering all available exits on the ground floor. Doctor, you go face to face. That'll designate exit one. I'll cover exit two. Rose, Daddy. You exit three. Mickey Smith, you take exit four. Have you got that? Excuse me. Yes, Daddy. Who's in charge? Not you. Sorry, awaiting orders, sir. Right, here's the plan. Like you said, nice plan. Anything else? Oh god. Teleport, that's cheating. Now we're never gonna get her. Oh, the doctor's very good at teleports. <laughs> I could do this all day. This is persecution. Why can't you leave me alone? What did I ever do to you? You tried what? to kill you tried me to destroy, destroy the world. this entire planet. Right. Apart from that. Blythe Droog. What's it mean? Bad wolf. But I've mm. heard that before. Bad yeah. wolf. I've heard that from lots Gwyneth. of times. Everywhere we go. Two words following us. Why? Bad wolf. How can they be following yeah. us? Nah, just a coincidence. I can no. hear a word on the radio, then hearing it all day. Never mind. Take me home and you take me to my death. Not my problem. You're prepared to. Right. The TARDIS can't leave until morning. We could. What? Go to a hotel, spend oh my the night. God. Oh my god! I mean, if you want to, I, I've got some money. Hey, yeah. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Two bedrooms. What the fuck? Bayside view. I was rather content. Oh my god! I suppose I'll see it again. Thank you. Thank you for being smart. Suppose not. A female Raxacora cephalopatorian can manufacture a poison dart within her own finger. Oh my god! Yes, I did. Oh my god! Just checking. Jesus. And one more thing. Fuck. Between you and me. As a final resort, the excess poison can be exhaled through the lungs. No! <laughs> That's better. Now well, then, what do you think? Uh, uh, mm, uh, steak uh, looks nice. Thank steak you. Steak and chips. The acidity is perfectly gauged to strip away the skin. Internal organs fall out into the liquid. You should have thought of that before, soon. honey. I mean... And still alive. You were willing to kill all of us. Still screaming. You forgot. There used to be a real Margaret Blaine. You killed her and stripped her and used the skin. Thank you. You pleaded for mercy out of a dead woman's lips. Thank you. Perhaps I have got used to it. A human life. An ordinary life. 
That's all I'm asking. You're a murderer. Give me a chance, Doctor. You can give us a chance. I can. Change. No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. It's got nothing to do with Trisha. This is all about me. Of course! You left me! Right! Thank you! We were nice. We were happy. He loves you. And then what? You give me a kiss and you run off of him and you make Thank me feel you. like nothing, Rob. Thank was nothing. you. Oh my God. I can't even go out with a stupid girl from a shop because you pick up the phone and I come running. Oh my God, Mickey. I mean, is that what I am, Rose? Stand by. Am I just supposed to sit here for the rest of my life waiting for you because I will? Oh my God, Mickey. Sorry. I'm so glad they addressed that. I mean... And that's how you live with yourself. That's how you slaughter millions. Because once in a while, on a whim, if the wind's in the right direction, you happen to be kind. Only a killer would know that. Is that right? From what I've seen, your funny little happy-go-lucky life leaves devastation in its wake. No. Always moving on, because you dare not look back. Playing with so many people's lives, you might as well be a god. And you're right, Doctor. You're absolutely right. Sometimes you let one go. Fuck. But I just need something, yeah? Some sort of promise that when you do come back, you're coming back for me. She can't. So break off with it. Okay, of course. Does it matter? Right. That's not thunder. Oh my god, she just left oh, him! Jack! Oh my god, you bitch! One wrong move and she you haven't changed. Like I might have known. I knew it. I've had you bleeding all night, poor baby. What's that light? The heart of the TARDIS. This ship's alive. Mm. You've opened its soul. Thank you. What? Oh. What? What happened? Here she is. She's an egg. Regress to a childhood. She's an egg. What? She can start again. Oh. With a life from scratch. My God. If we take her home, give her to a different family, tell them to bring her up properly, she might be all right. Or she might be worse. That's her choice. She's an egg. Wow. She's an egg. Bye, Mickey. Do you want to go and find him? We'll wait. No need. He deserves better. Yes, he does. Off we go then. Always moving on. Next stop, Rexacoric or Falpatorius. Wow. No, you don't often get to say that. <laughs> we'll just stop by and pop her in the hatchery. Margaret the Slovene can live her life again. A second chance. That'd be nice. I enjoyed that one. I loved seeing... Those four characters together. Oh my god, I wish it could be like that all the time. The Doctor, Rose, Jack, and Mickey. Wouldn't that be just such a great group? Because they're all so different. I felt bad for Mickey. I mean, I really hate the way Rose has treated him. Um, I'm so glad that they addressed it, that Mickey addressed it, because, I mean, I felt like I was going crazy. Like, she just thinks she can pop back anytime she wants and like he'll still be waiting for her. I mean, you left him and you never broke up with him. If you don't want to be with him, then say that and break up with him so that he's not going to be waiting for you. But she likes to have it both ways. She likes having someone waiting for her and she likes being with the two men on the ship. I mean, she just wants everything. That's one of Rose's flaws um, that I do not care for. I'm glad that he confronted her about it and now she at least is brought to her attention, um, you know, that you need to treat people with respect and don't leave them hanging, don't lead them on. I mean, of course she can be with whoever she wants, but let Mickey know that 
you don't want anything serious and, and not to wait for her because she's always gonna be traveling, so. And she had no right to get mad that he was seeing someone else. He's trying to have a life. He's tr he's lonely. He, he needs, I mean, I don't know. That just made me mad. Oh my God, it was so great to see them all together. And then it was nice to see the female alien too. Um, Blonde, is that her name? Blonde Fell. She's really good. A really good villain. I'm glad they brought her back. Um, it made sense because out of all of the Slovenes, she was the one that stood out and she was such a good actress. Um, thoroughly creepy. And then in this one, she, not only was she creepy, but we got to see a whole different side of her. Yes, she, she you know, betrayed them at, at the end, but um, before that, she was starting to feel, um, you know, empathy and compassion and remorse, and um, she was changing a little bit, a little bit. I mean, she did, <laughs> she did just get, you know, um, finish killing that guy at the beginning, so she's still a murderer. And she was all too willing to, um, to destroy all of us, to destroy the human race, um, you know, when her family was still alive. So, I mean, I'm glad it turned out the way that it did. Um, I mean, they technically they wouldn't have been killing her. They were handing her over to someone else so that, you know, they could execute her. But, um, I know it would have, it would have weighed on them for a little bit, um, because a part of them you know, would feel that they were playing a part in her death. But I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Who knew that the TARDIS had that capability? Um, I did not know th that the TARDIS was alive in that way. And what did she see? Maybe the TARDIS spoke to her and, and, and like, you know, told her, like, you get to start over again. Oh my god, how weird. But so beautiful at the same time. He should just invite all the villains that they come across onto the TARDIS and and have them look into the heart of <laughs> of the ship. Um, I mean, it seems like the most peaceful way to defeat your enemies. She was really good. Um, she made that character so much more complex. Yeah, like you, you felt for her at least a little bit. Um, I mean, I still think she was a villain. She was just a villain. She, um, but she made her interesting. Um, and her acting was so good. She and the doctor played off each other so well. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I like seeing that part of the city, um, since I'll probably never be able to go to London anytime soon. Um, or Cardiff, I mean, I don't know, it was pretty. I mean, because it just looks so different than the US and, um, because it had those you know, those big, um, open plazas that we, we do not have here in the U.S. I don't know, it was just, it was a nice change, um, of scenery, you know, and, and also, it was something that was also familiar, too. It wasn't, like, they're going to another planet or another, um, um, well, I guess they, they haven't gone to other planets. They've just gone to, like, the future, um, of Earth. It was nice to see a present-day <laughs> episode. <sighs> like, that they... There's continuity, they brought um, the rift back. Um, I wish we could have seen Gwyneth. <laughs> you know, it makes you think about whether someone deserves a second chance. You know, maybe we all deserve second chances. But do we? Do all of us deserve it? I don't know. <laughs> There's some things that are unforgivable. <laughs> but she, she wasn't necessarily let off the hook. Um, because her life ended, her life ended, but she gets to start a new life and where she gets to make all new choices. And um, like the doctor said, and you know, it'll be her choice whether, you know, she walks down the dark path again. But technically she, she was killed, she died. Um, you know, her life as Blonde Fell is over. She's gonna be someone else now. Yeah, that's interesting. So it makes you think like, you know, people who have committed like heinous crimes like murder or rape or and people who are in prison for life who, you know, will never get out or people who are on like death row, it makes you wonder like, 
you know, are there crimes that are so bad that those people can't be forgiven, that they can't, they can never be redeemed, and they don't deserve a second chance? I mean, it all depends on, you know, um, your opinion, basically, but in my opinion, she didn't deserve um, a second chance in in her current life as Blonde Fell, which is, which, which is why it turned out so perfect that it's like she was tried and judged by the TARDIS and she was, I mean, essentially killed. I mean, that was her punishment. She, her, her life, her, her time on, you know, um, Earth as that creature, as Blonde Fell, is over. Like, you're dead. Um, because you, 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 um, ruined your life by, you know, being a villain, by murdering, um, how many people, who knows how many people she's, she's killed over the years with her family, um, and probably on other planets, too. Um, so she deserved what she got, um, but now, like everyone, um, you know, whether, depending on what you believe in, I guess, you know, it would be nice if we were all reincarnated after death. Every, everything that we did in our current life, um, you know, just gets wiped clean. This, the slate is wiped clean and we get to start over. I mean, that would be really nice um, <laughs> if that's how it works. Um, none of us will ever know, I guess, um, but it's nice to think about. And it was nice for this story to, to see that the ship, um, which is probably like this all-knowing being um and it's telepathic it it saw like she saw into the heart of the ship but i think the ship saw into the heart of her too and it and it was it knew that if she was given a second chance she would do right this time um but it has to be in another life just to start all over she you can't do it as the current blonde fell you have to start all over um and that was beautiful so yeah i mean i I enjoyed it. It was just a fun episode. Um, and I saw it's Russell T. Davies, right? So, um, it was good. It was... It had everything. It had special effects. It had great acting. It had humor. I'm so glad that they got rid of the fart and just made it, like, indigestion and, like, you know, um, stomach noises instead of, yeah, instead of... <laughs> full-on farts um they toned down her character too um they toned the i love the way the doctor acted in this episode too he was really toned down he was so much more serious and just seemed like a person he wasn't they didn't try to make him this caricature who's always you know happy-go-lucky and making jokes he was just especially his scenes with blonde fell um I love their scenes together and the close-ups and you really got to see him act and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I did. Um, and I love seeing Mickey again. Um, it's too bad that things ended the way that they did, but he needs to learn that you can't wait for her. I mean, it'd be nice if she would say it, if she would say, don't wait for me, like I want to break up, but she, she wants everything. So you just, you need to be the strong one, Mickey, and just break it off. You have to let her go. You have to. Um, for your own sake. Because if you're going to lead any kind of normal life, you can't be waiting for her. Because she could, it could be years the next time you see her. I mean, you never know when she's going to come back. Um, she has no schedule. So, um, you know, either that or go with her. But she doesn't seem to really want you the same way that you want her. Um, so she doesn't know what she wants. Um, she's young, she's 19, um, so, um, yeah, she needs to find herself and he needs to figure his own life out, so, um, good luck to the both of you. <laughs> I really enjoyed this episode, uh, I hope you did too, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you'd like full reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. Alright guys, I'll see you next time, bye. I can't tell you love.